And Neil Williamson, the president and executive director of the Free Enterprise Forum. And the chamber recently updated local leaders, business leaders, on the city's proposed zoning code changes. So let's take that into layman's terms and talk about um, it's a years long process. What does it mean and how close are we to the finish line here? Well, tonight the city council will be discussing the ideas um, and what the next steps are. Uh, I anticipate that city council will hold a public hearing sometime in December. Um, what is the zoning code change? It changes the rules of the game for how you develop new properties. Uh, an example of one thing they're considering is the uh, drive throughs If you have a drive through the zoning code proposed from the Planning Commission says you must have your dining room or a walk-up window open at the, for the same hours as the drive through is open. Now, that's a real microcosm of a zoning ordinance. There's lots of pictures and development code and the rest, but the idea is a change in how we think about how we operate businesses and development in the city and make them more pedestrian friendly and grow as a city. And obviously those kind of changes potentially can have dramatic effects on businesses, maybe some more than others. Sure, and, and the, the drive through is a good example. You have, if you have a drive through open, you can probably operate the business with three if you don't have a dining room open. If you, don't, if you have to maintain a dining room and or a walk-up window, that adds another employee it changes the manner in which you do business. And so the, the webinar that we had with the business leaders and uh, the NDS uh, Neighborhood Development Services uh, Chief uh, James Frias was really a great opportunity and it's available online at seavillechamber.com. So what kind of feedback did you get from business leaders? What kind of concerns did they have with this? Um, they're in an information gathering mode. Anytime you make changes, it's hard. Um, the goals of the ordinance are clear based upon the comprehensive plan that's been adopted and the affordable housing plan that's been adopted. But how we get there is really a 450 page document that takes a lot of work to get through. So it's a long process, but not just because you have to read the document. No, it, it is. It is. But there are lots of pictures. Right. So, so what's the next step then in this process? Well, tonight uh, the city council will have the ordinance and will review the planning commission changes that were approved last, last week and they will set the agenda for going forward. They will likely have at least one more work session and then set a public hearing, perhaps in December, and then take action in December. And this long process, dates back to 2016, will be over. Wow, all right, a lot summed up and hopefully towards the, uh, heading toward the finish line now. One can hope. <laughs> Neil, appreciate it, thanks so much for the insight. Always good to be with you. Right. Casey?